hi everybody welcome back to the channel now today is like uh, i wanted to what do you call refresh a video of mine this is one of the most like uh, watch videos on this channel and this video was basically about how to learn ai security in 2025 i wanted to refresh this video for 2026 you know and because i want to keep you updated about what's ha happening within the industry and especially what are the new resources we can use so today's topic is how you can master ai security in the coming year in 2026 to help yourself secure a career in AI security. Now, what happens is a lot of people sometimes get mad at me and they say that there are no jobs for AI security. This is all hype. And this is just a simple, a simple uh, search that I did, you know, for London where I am. As you can see, you can just see literally like uh, 17 days ago, two days ago, 22 days ago, like, you know, like literally there are numerous jobs for AI security. This is not even the full page which I could copy and show you. And so they are, there is a colossal demand for AI security jobs. Download any security report. And one of the top concerns that CISOs have is how to secure the generative AI, the agentic AI, the AI security projects that are becoming more and more popular within uh, their companies. So believe me when I say that the demand is definitely there, but it's up to you how you want to present yourself uh, within the industry before we get started do like and subscribe to this channel share like and share this video uh, if you find it useful now how do you learn ai security well the first step and the most important step is to get your foundations right most people what they do and i've seen this mistake commonly they just jump into ai security they just jump into like a i'm going to go and secure ai systems how can you secure something which you don't even understand how it works the most important step is to understand the foundations things like machine learning the machine learning is the engine that drives all ai be it generative ai uh, be, it, be it agentic ai be it your normal ai systems machine learning is the heart and soul of ai systems so what you see here is this is how normal systems used to work right that we would give it an input Thus, the system would do it something with it and you would get an output, be it a legacy AS400 system, be it a mobile application, be it a web application. This is how historically systems have worked. Machine learning changes this, right? With machine learning, you give the machine learning algorithm input and output and it actually learns the patterns that are there and it uses it to create a model that will it use to predict future outcomes. It completely changes the way... Uh, computer systems work and computer systems think and this is wow, what gives AI its power so you have to understand what is machine learning specifically the concepts of supervised unsupervised learning model training evaluating models how models are evaluated and validated how they learn stuff how they are trained on that data this is your starting point believe me do not get started into AI security without understanding these concepts you do not need to do a PhD in mathematical algebra or something like that just get the basics right just understand what these things are so that you have a good foundation the next step is before again jumping into AI security understand the biases the, what are biases in AI algorithms so AI systems just like human beings they can be trained on the wrong data. They, they can get the wrong perspective about this thing. So look at, I want you to look at this picture, right? So on the left is this person. And I want you to look at what he has done before. Two armed robberies, one attempted armed robbery. And subsequently, he went on to do Grand Theft Auto. The AI system gave him a low risk, like three. And on the right is Bernard Park. <laughs> he had just four juvenile misdemeanors. Nothing, he didn't do nothing. His risk was eight and like 10. You know, like the system gave him a very, very high risk because it had learned from the wrong data. It had learned to associate negative things with the person's skin color. Just like human beings can unfortunately do the same thing, AI can also become biased. This is a very, very critical thing to understand because it teaches you later on when the attacks happen, how data can skew the thinking of an AI model, right? So what are the topics to learn? The types of biases, you know, the ethical implications of biased AI systems. What happens if an AI systems become biased? How do we stop this from happening? We have basically have to retrain, reweigh, and make, make the AI system understand that what the data it's learned is, it is incorrect. It has to get data from a variety of sources and be trained in the right way. So that is the next step. Now, the third step is now, now that you have a good foundation, now you start learning about AI specific attacks. They are 
all the attacks that you think about, you know, like SQL injections, cross-site strip cam, denial of service, AI has all these attacks and it introduces certain new ones also, things like data poisoning, model compromise, model poisoning, model evasion, and they are throughout the AI life cycle, right when from the start, when a company selects a model, it trains it, it tests it, it optimizes it, it deploys it. At each stage, there are unique attacks which are specific to AI systems, you know. Somebody can potentially poison the model, right? Replace it with a compromised model or they can poison the data. That You remember when I talked about biases and understanding machine learning? This is why it's so important because now you can understand how these attacks are happening. Somebody can evade the model. So maybe the system is doing something an attacker figures out how to trick this AI model by feeding it certain patterns. So these are all the things you have to uh, understand. Here are the things you have to learn that like what are adversarial samples, things like negative tests which you feel an AI system, right? How does data poisoning happens? How does model inversion happenings? Things like membership inference where people can understand how an AI system is thinking so they, they can bypass it. How do you learn these things you might be thinking? There are many, many like frameworks. One thing I recommend is Atlas, which is one of the most famous like uh, knowledge bases of AI attacks. It's it, it, the best thing about it is it is mapped throughout the AI life cycle. So you can actually see at what stage attacks can happen and uh, you can also like go down and it will teach you about what are the mitigations as you can see here, what are the techniques that allow these attacks to happen. It also gives you case studies, actual incidents that have happened within the industry. So you can actually map it to specific, uh, specific attacks that have happened. Now that you have understand of AI attacks, you move on to AI security controls. So we saw all these attacks happening, right? How do we start protecting them? AI, just like AI has unique attacks, it also has unique defenses, you know? Things like adversarial samples where you actually feed a model negative, uh, like attacks, you can say, like a negative data to see how well it is able to resist. You are like things like guardrails, things like output verification, uh, poisoning detection. You know, what, what if somebody is poisoning this data? Like these are all the attacks which are happening, right? A attacker can try to infer how the API is working. He can try to avoid the model. He can try to poison it. He can try to poison this data. So all these attacks are here. You can, you can think of it like the red team and the blue team, right? So all these attacks are happening. And this is where you have to really go down and get deep into the types of attacks. How do we learn this? There Again, there are many, many resources present. Uh, like uh, starting from point would be, Things like data protection, how do you anonymize data, how do you encrypt data, things like guardrails, securing the model training pipeline, the data pipeline, how do you monitor and audit AI systems if something has happened, if an AI system has become compromised, how do you know? One of the best resources is like, especially for generative AI, is the OS top 10. They have done some amazing work on this, it's completely free. In fact, all of the resources I'm going to tell you about, they're all free. I'm going to list them down so you can take a look at them. But this is a great starting point. Now that you have uh, done this, this is a new point which I did not cover in last last year's video, which was understand agentic AI. Now agentic AI is a game changer when it comes to AI. You think of it as the next evolution of AI. Just like when generative AI, chat GPT came, it was a major movement forward, right? For AI, like things were never the same. Similarly, agentic AI is a massive, massive leap forward. It moves AI from like, you know, just generating content to taking action. So you can think of like, like this AI was like basic decision making systems. Then it moved to like generating content from like generative AI. And now it in its current state, which is uh, agentic AI, which can take action. It comes in many, many different types. You know, you can have like a mesh model where multiple agents are talking to each other and taking action, or it can be like a supervised architecture where you have an AI supervisor, it is monitoring all these child agents. And think of it like this, like if you have a SOC team, you have an autonomous SOC team, you have an AI SOC manager that is looking at all of these child SOC agents, right? Or you can have an autonomous cloud security team. One person is monitoring this and all of these cloud agents are monitoring different clouds. They're reporting to a cloud security AI agent and you are looking at it. This is just an example a few of the use cases that are present. How do you understand the agentic AI attacks? This is a very much an evolving field. Literally every day, new types of theoretical attacks are coming out. One of the best uh, resources I would recommend is reading this guide, Securing Agentic Applications from OWASP. Again, I'll put the link. 
but they go into a lot of detail and this is again something which gets updated they just released one very recently in july 2025 i would recommend reading this and lastly i would recommend taking a look at the ai risk frameworks which are a bit higher but will give you a very very good understanding of the type of risks that are there at a much higher level you know things like ai governance framework and best practices how to risk assess ai systems what are the key laws and regulations that you have to think about ai security does not work in a vacuum you have to understand all the relevant laws and regulations that are there you know the best example i could give you is the ai risk management framework from nist again this is a completely free resource but a very very powerful it goes into all the types of uh, risks that are there and how to govern map measure and manage them and this is something which nist regularly updates they have a complete interactive playbook on their website like i said i'll give you the link you can check that out also go around study it and see how, what it means another one is the from aws it's the generative ai security scoping matrix they in this one they talk about the different types of generative ai systems that are present and how you can implement controls differently for each of them like you know something like chat gpt which is a consumer application you don't have control over the data uh, how it's being trained and something like a self-trained model which is on the right which is something you com com completely control all of them will have different types of controls you can't treat all of them the same way so all of them uh, i would recommend reading them so you have a much better idea of the risk frameworks so this is the steps i would recommend you take to really understand and uh, implement ai security in a proper way instead of wasting five thousand dollars on some workshop please go through these free resources the one i've talked about learn them in your profile create some sample projects by yourself and you'll be in a much much better position compared to uh, before so i hope this was useful to you please do like and subscribe to this channel i'll put all the resources in the comments you can check them out thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video